How you doing guys? Chris here. So this was the Happy Model Crux 35 and I converted it from a 4S quad to a 2S quad so that I could use these uh, Lion batteries. And you know, like always, I like to show you guys the build before I make you watch the whole video just in case you don't want to watch the whole video. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. So um, basically I put the FPV cycle 13 millimeter motors on there in 5000 kV and uh, I have this back in here and it's running on 5 volts so the Vista will run as low as 4.5 volts so it's working pretty well you just have to have the amperage behind it can't necessarily just run it off your flight controller because you might not have enough amperage in that beck in your flight controller, but I have a separate beck from uh, Natec, I believe, and yeah, that seems to be doing the job. So this little guy right here is the Micro Beck 6S, and yeah, works just fine on five volts. So I'll show you a quick video. You guys can uh, see the flights. Um, the last flight didn't go so well because when you're talking about a Lion, you know what, let me just show you right now. So yeah, when you're talking about a Lion, uh, punch outs aren't quick. <laughs> so it's okay, it's fine, didn't even break a pop. So. Got a little chip in there, then it'll be fine. All right, let's watch the uh, rest of the build. Hey, doing guys, Chris here from Divergent Drones. Well, this is the project I got. So this is the Crux 3.5, so it's a three and a half inch 4S drone, and it's got the DJI FPV system in it, so the Cadex with a little Nebula Nano camera in there. And uh, the plan was to redo the motors, I was gonna use the FPV cycle 13 millimeter 5000 kV, which is arguably a 2S motor. And uh, I was gonna do it as one a little park flyer, use these little 2S batteries. And then uh, I saw uh, Dave C's video on his uh, 2S three and a half inch. And I had the idea of throwing Lions on there. So I went and got a Lion pack. This is the Zod 2S and uh, it weighs about 100 grams. I'll give you an exact weight here in a minute, but it fits on there real nicely. So uh, we're gonna give that a shot as well and we'll see how it flies, how it performs. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, we got a little peanut down here. Maybe I'll fly it with and without the peanut. Uh, we'll see. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the weight real quick so you have an idea of what this is going to be like before and after. So I'm going to have to make this a naked Vista, maybe take out a couple of screws, uh, just lighten the load a little bit, change out this big heavy battery strap. You know, every gram counts. This is a very long uh, battery lead. I'll just shorten that up a little bit. So as it sits, Right now, it's 104.3 grams. So we're gonna trim the fat a little bit and uh, get this going, replace these motors. Uh, these motors are currently the Happy Model 1404s at 3500 kV. So we'll switch those out. All right, so we opened her up, uh, took the top off, uh, disassembled the Vista, you know, I. Nakedified it a little bit, so I don't do full naked, right? So I just I leave the center I don't know what you call it a spacer or maybe it's the same thing as these uh, heat sinks I'm not really sure but it protects the ribbon cable and it also has the mounting for the camera Like kind of built in you have that that screw here that you screw in the mounting for the uh, Mippy cable, so I leave it because it's more convenient to have. Um, we're gonna weigh it all out. We're gonna see exactly how much weight we just cut off of here. Um, let's do that now, actually, because I took off one of the motors already. So this is the Beck, and 
this is what we're going to use for the uh, Vista here to not brown out on us. We should be fine. I don't think I'll take it much further below that. All right, let's see how much it weighs. Get my scale here. All right, so what are we actually saving? So here's one of the motors. It's got the connector on there. I'm not gonna reuse the connector. I'm just gonna re-solder the wires. So this is 8.1 grams for this 1404 motor. This is the Happy Model brand at 3,500 kV. So 8.1, all right? And we're gonna replace them with the FPV cycle 13 millimeter by 1,000 kV motors. And I already trimmed it to about the length I need. I left a little extra, so maybe a centimeter extra just for just in case. And it is 6.2. So almost a full two grams lighter for each motor going all the way around. So that's pretty good weight savings. Uh, I'm only gonna use two of these screws. So two of those screws. That's gonna be about 0.7 grams. And then I won't put this on right away. And I have my own, cause I'm, gonna I'm not gonna fly it with the, uh, the Go 2. I'm gonna fly it with the regular Go, cause it's a lot lighter. And I have my own Go mount. So that was what, 1.7 for that. And I trimmed up the, the, batter, the, the antenna mount. So that weighs, 0.4 grams. I, what did I take off? That's more like it. 0.2. Okay. So, so far we're looking at about six grams of weight savings with just the motors and the mounts. This was 5.1. And how many screws am I not going to use there? I think four screws I don't use. See if I can get two more screws. There's one and there's two. And then those two more screws, 5.5. So that's 5.5 grams off the Vista I'm not gonna use. So there you go. So we're looking at 10 grams already and I'll get the final weight when it's all put back together. Still wanna trim that battery strap. That thing is really big and uh, where else could I save some weight? Maybe shorten that battery lead here. Yeah, that's about it. So let's keep working. All right, I got the motor swapped off. I uh, trimmed up the battery strap. So now it's not the happy model battery strap. It's the happy battery strap, which is fine. I got the Beck installed. And uh, what I did was, so happy model decided to go with the pads so to go through the flight controller and I don't know if there was a built-in voltage regulator into the flight controller I have to assume that there is so here's the finished product with the propellers so I weighed it before without the propellers so the overall weight savings was about 13 grams so about 15 percent and with this 2s 450 milliamp hour battery it came in at about 128 grams so this first flight you're gonna watch, I had the Beck set for nine volts instead of five volts, just because I wanted to test to see how it would do if I allowed it to get all the nine volts. But uh, when I put it on the, the multimeter, it was only getting about battery voltage, even though it was set for nine amps. So obviously it doesn't step up, but I just wanted to try it out. And you see all these flashes, it didn't work out very well. So we'll finish this flight up and then you'll go to the other 2S450 battery and you'll see it's much better when you set it just for five volts. So this is the 2S450 set for five volts on the Beck, and you can see a drastic difference. It did stutter right at the very beginning, maybe two or three times, but for the rest of the flight, it didn't. So definitely set it for five volts. As far as flight characteristics go, it flew pretty well, but this is a LiPo and it's only about 128 grams. So there's a significant difference between the Lion and the LiPo. 
since the C rating is so much higher, when you do a punch out or you do a close maneuver, it definitely performs better. Here's the weight for the 2S Lion, the Zod pack, and this is the flight. So it didn't end well, as you saw in the beginning, but it performed pretty well up until I crashed into the fence. Just remember, it doesn't punch out very well when you have a heavy ion battery. I'll let you watch and enjoy the crash again. I'm going to let this quad thaw out and then go for another flight. Thanks for watching, and if you want to make one of your own, this worked out pretty well.